I grew up in Wyoming and South Dakota, which are both right to work states. And so when I hear the argument that uh, unions are stopping job growth or economic development and things like that, and I don't see it that way at all, you know. Here in Minnesota, uh, we invested in our people. You know, we have people that have more education, uh, so we earn more, we get better benefits, and unions help with that. And in South Dakota, they don't make those investments and they don't have strong unions and they make less money. And that's just the way it is. Those are the facts. I also happen to be a taxpayer and I want government to be efficient too. And the union making sure that we have the tools that we need to do our jobs uh, is better for all of us as citizens. Unions don't protect bad employees. Unions protect the process. And so if somebody is not uh, living up to the agreement that they have with their employer of I will do this for you if you give me this much in wages. And so if you have someone that's not performing, that happens to be a fellow union worker, that impacts you too. And so as a union steward, I'm not wanting to protect bad employees. I'm wanting to protect the process. That way, if for some reason I find myself in the process, I wanna make sure it's handled fairly. Right now, everybody pays in a little bit. We all pitch in to have these benefits of our union to negotiate collectively. Uh, and basically, my understanding is that if uh, this right to work amendment passes, that it'll weaken my union. That what it does is it takes away resources because people would be able to be represented by the union, uh, my union, MAPE. They would not have to pay anything whatsoever but I, I, as a steward, would still have to represent them in a grievance if they don't, uh, if they're being treated unfairly by our employer, by their supervisor. I would still have to represent them as a steward. Uh, they would still get all the exact same benefits and the wage increases and anything like that that we would be able to negotiate, and yet they wouldn't be paying anything. the unions have made it better for workers. And even if you're not a unionized worker, you have it better because you have to compete for the same pool of employees. And if I have a union in my shop and you don't have a union in your shop, you're still gonna have to compete for the same pool of people. And so it brings everybody up. And uh, I'm just definitely afraid that uh, if this right to work passes, it's gonna destroy the middle class.